Hey crafters, it's me, Jen Evers, with Quality Crafts. And today is a Wednesday, which makes it a 1 in 10 by Jen using Ingenuity from Mailbox to Masterpiece. And basically what that means, if you've never been here before, um, is that I take this envelope from a random person who has subscribed, and we have a list in our Facebook group if you ever want to know who's coming up next. Um, check that out. Um, and so I open it up and we check out and see what's in here. And then I have two card bases ready to go. And I make, I just make one card though. One card. And then the really cool part about it is I don't keep the card. I send it back to whomever sent it to me. So this week it is Mr. James Gaines. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what her tag says. But this is from Diane Gaines and she is, um, a member that a lot of us know and love. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. Um, I will op open it. And show you guys what's in here first. Hi guys, Lisa Ann, Sweet Drops, Lori, Linda, Peggy, Sherry, Rosie. I'm glad you guys all drop in and see us. There's a little note on here. Leftovers from a project. Awesome. Look at that. It's like hand stamped something. Like wind. Looks like wind to me. That's cool. And there's all this fun paper here. All different kind of stuff. Silvers and a little bit of gold and a really fun piece of, I want to say it's ribbon. It kind of looks like ribbon. That's neat. Some butterfly paper. This is cool. I wonder if we could start with that. That looks really neat. Almost looks like a postcard. This is going to be a neat card. Um... I think this is probably the most stumped I've been since everything that's come is usually matching. And then there's some really cute little decorations here. Hopefully we can tack on a couple of those. Hey Maureen! Carol Harper, Polly's Pretties. I'm starting to see some new faces in here. Well, and I can't literally say faces, but new names. So if you're new, send up some hearts. Let me know you're new. So a lot of these little blings are like pearlescent blue. They're just gorgeous. And then there's these little hearts. But look at these blues. It's really hard to see. Check that out. I mean, they're just super shiny. Isn't that pretty? There's a whole bunch of them. So I probably am going to be needing a little bit of probably some wet glue. So let me make sure I pull that down. Thanks, Sue. She said she likes my polish. I've got on a glittery purple this week. I stopped for a really long time doing my nails. I don't really know why. I guess I just got busy and just that was not a priority at the time. I do believe we can get away with a white cardstock base. So let's go ahead and fold that up. Thanks, Carol. Welcome. We're so glad to have you. We've got new people in here tonight. So everyone is welcome to join in on this if you want to do, um, my goodness, did I leave my, did I leave my phone upstairs? I don't think I've ever done that before. I did. What the hey? How am I going to time myself? Carolina, you made it. Carol. Thanks, Peggy2316. My goodness, you guys, I literally left my phone upstairs. That's so odd. I don't think that's ever happened before. Um, I mean, okay, let's take a vote because I'm, it, I'm all about my community. So do you guys want me to run upstairs and grab the phone? Or do you just want me to do, um, I can just do a little quick little timer on my computer. Ah, Sir Flynn is here. A storm. So I like you. Oh, we got a storm today. We got a bunch of rain today. I'm giving you guys just a minute because I know there's a lag. Let me know what you think about the timer. Because I know some of you guys really like to see the timer. Other of you guys maybe don't mind, but let me know. Hey, heaven sent. J 
Cheers, guys. We've got a couple votes for each one. <laughs> okay, most people don't care about the time. So we're just going to go with it. Let me go ahead and just set a little timer here. And ready. I should be able to just turn it on right here. Oh, there it goes. All right. Um, I was thinking that maybe I might be able to make it small so that you guys could see it on here, but I can't put it like on there. So let me just say that I've already started it and we're at nine minutes, 40 seconds. So I better get my booty shaking here. <laughs> ah. I thought I really wanted to start out with this, but I'm almost thinking now if I want to get some of these guys on here and make this all kind of matchy here, I might not want to start off with that one. Or maybe we could just mix some of these colors. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. Diane, you did a nice job of stumping me, girlfriend. I love it. This one's got a little bit of sticky on it, so I think I'm just gonna... I think that's where it gets cut off. Maybe without the timer, some of you nail biters will be a little bit more confident. <laughs> the most important things in life aren't things. I'll go with that. I will go with that. Oh, I hear the, I hear the garage door opener. Chuck's home. So I am just going to go ahead and go for it with this card. I think there's just going to be a little bit of pieces of everything all over the place. So I'm taking this side so I have something to put on the inside. <laughs> I don't care about the timer. Just do your thing, girlfriend. Whoop, whoop. Eight minutes, five seconds. I'll try to give you a little hint as to where we're at. There we go. So we're going to put some of this on the outside. I don't know how this is going to end up looking. I'm just, I think I'm just going to go for it and whatever comes out, comes out. That is actually kind of strange because I usually have some kind of an idea where I'm going with it. And today I am just, I'm kerfluffled. I'm just baffled. I'm not sure where I'm going with it. But I do like this. Stick some of that under there. That's coming out of there. Give it a little bit of stick down. Okay. This like silver stuff is really pretty too. We've got another one. I don't know what is this is lavender or blue? Maybe it's just a light blue. Let's add some of that on there so we can add a little bit of this. Oh, that's pretty. bit of this on the inside too. Let's go ahead and just cut that down a tad. So I've decided that this coming Friday, this coming free play Friday, we've got all kinds of stuff going on and we've got to move everything from our basement into our upstairs and we've started that and it's just a hairy mess. There's just stuff everywhere. Um, so I bring that up because next week, Friday, instead of doing a whole crazy, I don't even know how to explain it, um, planned out video, we're just going to have a really fun time creating 
Halloween cards. But here's the rub. I know a lot of you people don't like doing Halloween cards or you don't do it or it's not your thing. It's not my thing either. I don't send Halloween cards, but there will be tips and tricks during that video that will help you out with any holiday card. So if you like to do holiday cards, um, you can use a lot of the things that you're going to see in the video on Friday for that type of stuff. So I still want you guys to come around um, and check that out. I just think it'll be really fun. And that's this Friday. Friday the let's see, 21st. Just trying to get a little bit of interest here. Where are we at? I'm going to bring, the, I'm gonna bring this up. Oh, four minutes, 53 seconds. I'll try not to cheat. <laughs> no one likes a cheater. Ooh. That's cool. We're going to add some of that, too. I might not get all these colors on the inside. I'm okay with that. We do have a cute little inside, and I like the way that looks. So I don't know that I really even want to put any more stuff in there. But I want some of this silver because that's really pretty. And then there's these butterflies that I just can't do without. And so I'm going to bubble cut. Fussy cutting, but it's like a bubble instead of being super, super careful because I don't want to run out of time. Just cutting out the butterflies, but I do want to add a couple. Three minutes, 48 seconds. Jane Brown. Oh, so cute. Let's use that big one. My school teacher, inside my head, my school teacher voice says, you just cut that right out of the middle of a piece of paper. You could have used all that. <laughs> Shh. Shh, your negative brain. You're not welcome here. Get out of my head. This is all for fun. You're not invited if you're negative. Go away. Oh, tomorrow's a day when I get to go interpret in... Pre-K. Yay! And we need some of these little gems. I'm going to use wet glue. I don't know if that's going to hold right off the bat. If it doesn't, then I will um, go back in before I mail it. If it's not staying, I'll go back in and put... Um, I know what I want to say. My glue dots just aren't, just aren't that small. These are such gorgeous little gems. Oh my gosh, so cute. I really hope that this glue works. So I'm going to use a bunch of them to get that blue to stand out. about the orange flowers though. I was excited about them but I don't know that they're going to fit in here. If you guys hear a bunch of knocking around, it's my husband who just got home. He's usually home before me but you never know. Look at that. What else do we want to do here? One minute, 30 seconds. I think that this tag could probably go on here. do the corners. Could use my corner rounder, but I'm kind of in a hurry. So I've only got 56 seconds left, but I think this would look really good there. 
maybe straight across. We could put a little sentiment on there, but I would need to do it in white. Let's see if I got a white pen that'll work here. This pen is not working. I'm not going to have time to finish it. I'm just going to have to write hello, and that's going to be the end of it. Ah, see? Beep, 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 beep. Tell me you guys heard that beep, beep, beep. I'm pretty sure you did. Darn it. I wanted to write more on there than just hello, but my pen was not cooperating. So we've got a card that says hello. Yeah. I love all the colors and the textures and the styles of these paper. And then we've got some on the inside there. Oh, you know what? I was going to put this piece on too to make them matchy and I forgot to, I forgot to add that guy. Well, shoots. <laughs> Finish it, we'll wait. All right, you guys will wait. I'm, I'm going to finish it. I don't know what's up with this paper that it won't, it won't write on there. Maybe it's my pen. I just wanted to add friend. Hello, friend. I'm trying to press super light so that it the ball rolls. I'm always telling people don't press down really hard because you gotta let that ball roll so the ink comes out. There we go. Hello friend. That looks much nicer. <laughs> who's not who's not hitting the Oh it was really loud, Robin. I my apologies. Like, I have no control over, like, if certain sounds are louder than other sounds. It's crazy. I wish I had more control over that kind of stuff. Like, that thing that goes ding when um, we get a uh, super chat, when somebody pledges um, a one-time amount on here, or somebody um, subscribes while the live is going on. I have no control over the sound of that either, how loud that is, and it's super loud. So I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. I'm collecting all my little goodies because I can still use these in another card. And I'm going to try to get this guy to go in here too. Thanks, Gail. Thanks, Diane. So this was from Diane Gaines. Did she come today? I was kind of trying to look while, you know, sometimes it's hard for me to look while I'm doing it. Let me go ahead and pick out all the big pieces that we're going to save here. Because most of you guys know that I save these in another little um, bin of scraps. And a lot of the scraps come from these cards. And then on rainy days, I pull those out. Thanks, Crafty Oki. I really appreciate that. Um, This is actually number... No, I can't remember. What did it say? 58. I wanna, I'm pretty sure it's 58. We've been doing this for 58 weeks, and people love it so much that it just keeps going on. And as long as we're getting envelopes um, from you guys, then I will be making the cards and sending them back out, and we'll just keep this um, this series, I guess we could call it a series, um, going, as long as you guys are enjoying it. Uh, the other one that we have, if you're new to my channel, or if you're curious, or you just can't remember, are Fridays. So I will see you guys in two days on Friday. Again, I'm going to do... Um, tips and tricks for holiday cards. Uh, it is going to be focused on Halloween because that's the time of year it is right now. However, you can use a lot of the ideas that I use for the Halloween cards, for Valentine's cards, for Christmas cards, Thanksgiving cards, birthday cards, um, congratulations cards like anniversaries and, uh, you know, work anniversaries and marriage anniversaries and that kind of stuff. So don't not show up because you're not into Halloween. I'm totally not into Halloween either. Other, you know, the fact that I don't send out Halloween cards and that kind of thing. Um, 
I know there are some people who consider that not kosher if you're Christian. I am Christian. I don't celebrate Halloween. Um, I'm not against other people who do, though. I mean, that's your personal preference. Um, but it's something that we do in our culture and in my area and my family. We always want trick-or-treating. So I'm going to be doing some really cool uh, holiday-based you know, Halloween cards. So I would love for all of you guys to join me on Friday. Let me just tuck these away. Oh, Jane, Jane Brown, I love this show and the one on Friday evening as well. Keep them going. Thank you so much. Polly's Praise, are you new? Sorry to run fast, but dinner time. Thanks. I'll see you on Friday. Um, do you guys have any questions? Like, I rarely stop and answer questions, but I have a few extra minutes. Uh, don't forget that if you want to know what's going on with the videos, like, is there going to be a cancellation or am I going to have to move one to a different time? Stuff like that. You're going to want to be a part of... I have this stupid cord hanging out here. You're going to want to be a part of our group in Facebook. So, Quality Crafts on Facebook is a non-drama no commitment group where you can hang out and be inspired or jump in and inspire others. We would really love to have everyone there. Um, one other thing I really want to talk about because this next Friday is not going to be another sale, but the, the Friday after. So let me check. That would be um, Saturday the 29th is going to be our next Crafty Garage sale. And I just want to say that for the most part, 95% of us are following the rules and the regulations and all that stuff. And it's just the easiest to remember would be PayPal only, US only, and that you have to pay your invoice by, and I'm going to have to have a cutoff date, a cutoff time. I'm now going to have a cutoff time of 5 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. And the reason for that is I work full time all week and I don't have a lot of time to stop at the post office. Um, I'm up early in the morning walking. Uh, so I'm in bed by six, relaxing and winding down. I shut off all of my electronics and stuff and go to bed at six. Um, that might seem early to some of you guys, but I'm up at five and I just need that wind down time. It's important for me. And, um, so when I do a sale on Saturday, I do a four hour sale from 10 AM to 2 PM. Lori, um, helps me on my right and Penny helps me. Um, collect addresses and make sure everything is really, really smooth. So, um, to get everybody's completely finished, I will invoice everybody by um, Sunday evening. As soon, I do it as soon as I can right after we're done with the sale. Um, I do stop and have dinner though because that's a long time. Four hours is a long time to talk and sell and um, that kind of thing. I just want you guys to just be aware. They will be out that night. And then you have from that night until the next night, Sunday night at five, which is almost 24 hours. And basically they say right on the invoices that they're due upon receipt. So I um, I do sometimes give people the benefit of the, of the doubt and please, please be open communicating with me. Um, don't wait and then be like, oh, well, I can't tell Jen that something happened. Um, she's gonna kick me out of the sales. It's not, it's not like that. Um, but I just want to make sure that you guys understand that because I do, I'm starting to have a collection of bags and boxes of people that never paid. And I'm, I don't want to make a big deal out of that because we're going to have an unpaid box opening night at some point, which will be kind of cool because you'll get dibs on things that were gone and now they're like coming back. Essentially, I think that'll be really cool. Um, Ann, Littler, Ann Littler wants to know what kind of glue I use. Um, thanks, Peggy. I really appreciate that. She says, you and your team are so awesome and so organized. Uh, so what glue I use most of the time is this one, and there's Aline's Tacky Glue in here. And I just open this up, and I drizzle the glue straight into this little, make sure there's no um, glue bubble there. See, now there's an opening. Use the glue bottle and squirt the glue in. And then I add a couple drops of water and I shut it tight and then I shake it. And then I let some of the water out that wouldn't mix in and so that it's easier to come out that small tip. Oh, you got yours today, Robin? That's awesome. 
got my distress inks today from the last garage sale. Yay! There were a couple that went out late. My apologies. I accidentally sent out um, four uh, priority was Tyvex, is it? Tyvex envelopes. And I don't normally use those, but we had some longer things. And I didn't send them out correctly. So I had to repay for all the postage. And I didn't charge you guys. It was my fault. And then send them out again. So you guys waited an extra um, probably two or three days while it came back to me and went back out. So my apologies for that. I got that figured out. Um, so that won't be an issue anymore. Yay! So here's another quick look at this car before I jump out here. Let me see. Looks like that wet glue is going to hold those little beads. That I should call them flat back pearls. I really like those. Those are so cute. And here's the inside. There's a little trim on the inside. So cute. Hi, Anne. Yes, I answered that question. I'll answer it again. Anne Littler wanted to know what kind of glue I use. Um, I use Aline's Tacky Glue in here, in this bottle. Aline's Tacky Glue. It's in a like a goldish bottle. I don't have one on hand, otherwise I'd show you. Yay, you got yours too. That's awesome. Happy early birthday, Anne. Alrighty, guys. So I hope to see you on Friday. If you're ever looking for anything Quality Crafts, think, oh, qualitycrafts.com. There's tabs at the top that will take you to the Amazon links. It'll take you to the blog. It'll take you to... There, I, there's a link somewhere on there that takes you straight to the Facebook group if you're looking for it and you can't remember. I always think qualitycrafts.com and meet us there. You'll be able to find all that is the community of Quality Crafts. Alrighty, guys. I can't wait to see you guys next video.